we can search at any time. We don't have to tell them that we're about to search. We have reasonable suspicion that there's something in the unit. We'll search. Where else we should go? Where are we? We try to look everywhere. We try to put ourselves in their shoes. We try to be one step ahead if possible. We pretty much try to scan everything. Tell them check room 106 and make sure my snacks are still in there. <laughs> Tell them if they don't mess with my phone, just call me. It's $8 and some change. If uh, it's contraband, that's her hair. Going through people's stuff, just trashing it all types of ways. It's crazy. So when we start the search in B4, Freya is uh, gonna be coming through first, and then Willard and McKinney, I'm gonna need for you two to start corralling folks into the day room. Uh, strip searching, all right. I hope to see that when you conduct your raids, the inmates are not inside of their cell to minimize the amount of time they have to get rid of contraband. We're also following our new raid protocol for the men's part and surprising them by pulling them out of the dorm and separating them before any individual strip searches. Bro, they never found nothing before. All they find is extra drawers and sheets. I'll take, y'all take him. Extra sheets, for real. That's all they be finding. I don't got nothing in here, bro. I ain't never found nothing. Y'all hold time here. Don't got in here. How the hell is somebody gonna get something here? Y'all got x-ray machines. Y'all got y'all got everything. How somebody gonna get in here, bro? Oh, sweet. You can't even get no mail. Mail gotta get to the tower. How are we gonna get something here? If, 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 if we got something here, it's y'all fault. Because y'all the only way we can get it. They are receiving this drug suboxone and hiding it under their tongue and taking it back to the unit and crushing it up and sniffing it and, you know, turning other guys on to it. They're using a program to go get that drug. Do you think they sell it? They can crush it up and they can take half of the pill and sell the other half. Say this, I'm chilling for a couple days. The Jackson just said that somebody came him this morning and said that there was something going on with the MAT and inside this block, and he's gonna get in, he's gonna start investigating on it. So I'm not doing that for a couple days. The intel we received from Orion about holding medication was upsetting but not surprising. We definitely don't want our jail to be a breeding ground for addiction. I, I want I swallow the blessing and everything. <laughs> Enforcing strict guidelines to a medication pass should help to stop inmates from cheeking their meds. It ain't just drip master. A lot of people feel like it's funny going on. What do you do? 45 days. And I had New York asking me questions. A fly on the wall is basically how you could perceive Jersey. Yeah, Jason. Jason. Flea got, Flea got the 75, but he can cash up it to wherever or to his bond behind you feel me? Soon I get back to the world, but then it's like, I gotta take the steps to put my life back in order, and it's really in shambles. I'm ashamed to say, I've been here maybe 30 times. It's definitely stressful. If you don't have a certain type of support, you will go home to nothing. Hey, New York. Hey, New York. Hey, New York. my name right up. I'm nervous and excited all at one to get back to it. But I definitely want to be able to succeed this time in life around when I go back out there. <laughs> Check 
not just for me, for my daughter, for my mother. She's old before she happens to perish. God forbid, I want to make sure I do something right to make her proud. She don't come back. She don't say anything to us. We don't know anything that goes on with her. Half of us don't even know her name. I keep asking, what's the sheriff's name? Because I want to write her. The sheriff should have came and said, what can we do? How can we see her? Paula Dance is the first black woman in a sheriff's seat. You can't even come down here and see about your people. Or ask these people how they feeling or what is things that need to be changed or what is things that need to be looked at. I have one very last piece of information. They so desperately desire for you to visit them. Absolutely. No day. Is that true? Yeah. They were disheartened that she's never been there, they said. They said, it's a woman and she doesn't visit us. <laughs> I'm doing well, are you? I'm doing great, and I see you. Uh, she loves her. Wow, sure did. So, what are you doing here? What do you think about where? Oh, uh, when I think about where, if it won't for where, I won't be trying to go out and do better because I've been, my whole life, I've been basically prostitute mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I never thought that I would be able to want to go to school, mm -hmm. um, want to change, make a difference, like get even more girls to wear. <laughs> because it, it, it really is like it's for my mental, mm -hmm. cause I've been through a lot. Good. Well, I, that is wonderful, because that was the purpose of me starting these programs, because I truly believe if you can change a person's mindset and give a person hope. Yes, and it's showing me hope. Absolutely, sir. Um, and I sure thank you for that. Absolutely. I have a question for you. Absolutely. If you can do like different groups, because only certain people can get in wear. Like she said, she's been here a year. She can't get in wear. That's why I'm about no. to ask you. So my name is Tara, mm -hmm. and I've been here um, incarcerated 15 months. Mm -hmm. But I can't get in due to my bond amount. So what's I've been what's your name again? Tara. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got rejected because of my mom was too high. It's baby steps to get where we need to get, yeah. and yeah. but we'll get there. And I'm very grateful that you came to see me. Well, well, I'm glad there. I came to see you. Hey, Candace, how are you? So I see that you like art. I love it. Yeah. So is this how you pass the time away? Yes, ma'am. It helps me. Because I have anger issues. Mm -hmm. Now, are you in any of the programs here? I want to be in where, but they said that my bond is too high, my okay. charges, I can't be in there. Look, we got to look at that because, you know, I know we are limited in on space, and the intent was to grow. I hope so because that... I've been clean for April 2nd, I'll make a year. I've been clean off of heroin and yeah. cocaine. Yes. So we've got some things in the works. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She went to every table, went to every cell. I'm like, man, that's awesome. Any of you guys in Well, work? I'll get out two applications for where. Jessica Avery. Put two. Two. She put hers in too. Do I see hers? And what was her name? Caroline. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes. When the sheriff came in, I felt like, wow, this Karen's crew is really trying to make a difference. It felt good, like, someone actually, like, hearing us out. Like, I've been locked up two and a half years, you know what I'm saying? And sitting in this county. Like right now, I got four to five years on the table. But guess what, though? I'm not gonna take it. It'd be a lot of going on, bro. Like, and then it happened. I lost my dog. I lost my dog, bro. Like, like my dog, bro. Like, I'm talking about, bro, this has been my dog since I was little. I lost my dog, bro. Like, I don't know how that feel to me. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all know how that feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, come in and do this and do this. Man, I don't know how that feel to me. I lost my dog. When I go to trial, the charge that I got locked up for was first degree murder. The only way is either you gonna go home free, and you know what I'm saying, this out the way, you never gonna have to worry about it no more, or you gonna go to prison for life. Now, if I lose, it's over. You know what I'm saying? I never get to see daylight again. You feel me? I get life. <laughs>